morning student today i'm going to explain you geometry about lines um first you have to understand the meaning of um, points uh, meaning of some uh, terms uh, using in lines first you have to understand what is point and what is line and what is line segment and what is ray so point means uh, um what is point a point is a dot made by a sharp pencil a point has no length and no breadth it has only position that means one dot made by a sharp pencil it is called a point suppose name is a and a is a point then what is line a line does not have fixed length and fixed end point it extend indefinitely in any direction that means line is a straight line line does not have any length it can extend both the side left and right so you have to give here arrow right yeah? arrow that means it is a line it can extend this side also and this side also main here a and b then it's denoted like that ab on top have to write uh, one straight line and both the side arrow that means it extend both the side is a line in geometry every term you have to understand definition you have to understand in high class slowly slowly i'll teach the high class so this will not continue so every step is important for your life so it is so what is if you don't if you not understand this point line line segment ray then you cannot understand the geometry theorem so everywhere basic is very important so first you have to understand in geometry what is point what is line what is line segment what is ray that's all and what is an angle and what is a triangle so, so all the definition now we will get in class 4 and 5 standard so here it is a line line is a straight line it can extend indefinitely in the both side it has a, it has no end points then what is line segment line segment is a part of a line that means it has end point starting point and ending point it has two fixed point it is a part of a line c d and it is denoted like that c d c d is a line segment c d is a line segment then ray what is ray ray we are generally we are telling sun rays torch torch rays that's all ray that means one fixed point torch one fixed point and the said ray is going on sun from the sun we are getting rays that side ray is not passing so it is a it calls a rays that means it start from one fixed point one starting point and no ending point so one side arrow and it is fixed point it is called ray then here name is given ef e f fixed point here that's why uh, name you can write here 
and here it is Rena extending. So one line and run here and put the name E F. E F is a ray. Is a ray. And it is sign you have to give one fixed point and one arrow. That means it extends. In one side, this side it will not extend, this it extends in one side. Now see different types of lines. There is intersecting lines, parallel lines, perpendicular lines, so many lines are here. Now to here I am explaining intersecting lines. What is intersecting lines? When two lines cross, they cross, when two lines cross, they are known as intersecting line. The point of which they cross, that is O, is the point of intersection. Two lines when they cross, two lines when they cross, they cross each other. When two lines they cross each other, then you have to give this arrow. And when two line segment cross each other, then no need to give arrow. It is the yes, uh, no enough place. That's why uh, I retain here only uh, two lines. There are two types of lines. Line segment and lines. When two lines cross each other, that time you have to put arrow on both the side. It is a lines. And when two line segments cross each other, then no arrow. Line segment cross each other. Then the yeah, midpoint is O. It is called intersecting line. And point is called a point of intersection. That means you can give the name A, B, C, D. A, B and C, D are two intersecting lines. A, B and C, D. Here you have to give arrow because I draw lines. Geometry, this is very important. Accurate. Accurately you have to write the definition. That means I am writing here uh, lines. So you have to give arrow on both the sides. If I write here, two uh, line segments intersect each other, then we have no need to put arrow. It is the fixed point. So A, B and C, B are two intersecting lines. Intersecting lines intersect at O. Intersect at O. That means O is the intersecting point. And A, B and C, D are the two lines. Now parallel lines. Parallel lines which never meet and are always equal distance from each other. Equal distance Distance from each other. Parallel lines, it is very important. Parallel, what is parallel lines? Railway track, it is a parallel lines. Parallel lines which never meet and are always of an equal distance from each other. Two lines. Suppose two lines, it is always equal distance. If it is not equal distance, it is, I, this one I draw, it is not equal distance. Then slowly, 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 when it is go, this way, it will cross each other. Then it will not take parallel lines. Distance, always equal. Like that, railway track. So if it is not parallel, then there will be accident. So there is a way to draw the parallel lines. First I will draw one line. 
Now you are little higher class, 4 and 5. So how to draw parallel lower class? I am drawing this way. Class 3 I explain this. Drawing this way because they don't know the angle. So this way this is the parallel lines. But you are, you know, I will learn this angle. What is an angle? So when after learning angle, so you can draw the parallel line in accurately. First you draw one line. Two lines are parallel lines. With the alternate angle, it is called alternate angles. Alternate means opposite side. This side and this side. It is called alternate angles. If the alternate angles is equal, then the line two lines are parallel. So it is a parallel lines. So A B and C D. So A B and C D parallel line. It is denoted like this. A B Parallel to CD, short form. AB parallel to CD. Then next I will uh, show you uh, perpendicular lines. Perpendicular, now see perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines is lines that are meet or cross at a right angles. Are perpendicular to one another. So how to draw right angles? That one I'll show with the compass. Right angles you can draw with the protector also. But I'll show you with the compass. Right angles. You take a one. You take one point. So right angles here. To perpendicular lines, it may be intersecting lines, perpendicularly intersect. So if it is perpendicularly intersect, then here will be four right angles. And if it is perpendicularly meet, then here will be two right angles. So I am trying perpendicular intersect, perpendicularly intersect. Lines that are cross, that, are, um, that meet or cross. If they meet, Lines, uh, perpendicular lines, it is the name, perpendicular lines, till here, it is the name, Perpen lines that meet or cross. If it is meet, then two right angles. If it is cross, then four right angles. Um, are perpendicular to one another. Then the, it will be this line and another line which I will draw. They, these two lines perpendicular to each other. So, how to draw? I'll fix it here. One I can draw. Then, from here, Go 
cross and drain. So both the side I have to draw the arc. Both the side and drawing the arc. Two arc intersect at a point. So now here is the point. Here is the point. Here is the point. These three points and draw the lines. properly and see or see how is it then if it is in short you can draw that you put one fixed point here and put the protector and then here is 90 degree you can put here one dot then you can draw the line it is also perpendicular line both the way so better to use compass because in future in higher classes everything you have to draw with the a compass and pencil scale and a protector what class only using so this is the uh, then here denoted a b uh, here intersecting i'm writing inter intersecting line when it is of c d then it is denoted like that c b Perpendicular on AB. Perpendicular sign is this. The so CD perpendicular on AB. The so CD perpendicular on AB. Then here 90 degree. This angle also 90 degree. This angle also 90 degree. This is denoted that CD perpendicular on AB. Then you understood? Thank you.